good morning we are at target currently i was gonna bring you guys initially in to actually do the shopping with me but because i have my gopro i'm a little <clears throat> nervous because the gopro is kind of loud when it turns on and off and i don't want anyone assuming that i'm filming them plus i have four orders so i have a lot to grab in kind of a short period of time <clears throat> so i don't really have time at least for this first bundle of orders again there's four orders but i'm gonna i'll have time to drop them off i think my biggest order is uh like 20 items but it's all it's relatively easy i'm looking at my route right now so i'm gonna go in <clears throat> i'm immediately gonna go to the toddler boy section because there's two sets of pants and a pack of underwear i'm gonna grab because sometimes clothes can be the hardest to find so i'm gonna get that first then I'm gonna go to baby for diapers. Then we're gonna jump right into grocery, which is my biggest shopping. Yeah, it's pretty much all grocery until we go into a little bit of medicine and then beauty and, and cleaning. We're gonna finish off with like household cleaning stuff. So I'll be back with all my bags of stuff. Just wait for it. Oh my gosh, sorry, it's so windy. Oh. Oh, it is so windy out today. I look like such a schmuck. If I look like I just rolled out of bed and grabbed my car keys, that's exactly what I did. Oh my gosh, I'm not trying to impress anybody, but I'm also trying not to scare anybody. These chapped lips are the scariest thing about this morning. What time is it? So I walked in the door at 8.48. It's 9.10. <laughs> um, my first order is only six minutes away and it's my earliest this one is supposed to be dropped off between 9 and 10 a.m like i said it's 9 10 <laughs> so we're making really good time my next three orders are the window between 10 and 11 but obviously i'm making good time so we'll get everywhere on time um you can kind of see the chaos in the back it really wasn't that much my bigger grocery order is in my trunk right now but it wasn't bad at all i think my my hardest my hardest part about that trip was um somebody wanted pull-ups the pants weren't even hard to find those i found easily like, i think it's because i have a toddler boy of my own so i like know where to go and know what to look for i i send them a text as i'm on my way so like this first lady that i'm dropping off now i've sent her a thing saying hey like i'm done shopping for your order i'm on my way and then whoever i do next which is whoever is closest to that location next i'll once i drop this lady off i'll shoot them a message too i did see an accident yesterday and i wasn't even doing deliveries though um we headed to we were going to metro um, to deal with our phones and stuff and on our way back it's moments like these i wish i had a dash cam but i have to get one because then i could just show you but um yeah this guy just turned into a lane didn't look didn't check his blind spot it wasn't on the highway it was on like a back road so it wasn't he wasn't going crazy fast or anything i've destroyed this coat i know i i'm covered in paint um but it's the end of the season the coat is just gonna get trashed and then i'm just gonna have to purchase a new one next season i didn't want to but i knew the minute that i accidentally got paint on it that it was all over from there oh my goodness i am i'm convinced okay so there's a lady who walks around tar the target area around an intersection i cross very very often daily actually and i saw her not that long ago um and i'm all about i'm all about freedom of speech um you know uh peaceful protest but she was walking down the neighborhood now this was when it was still pretty cold she was walk walking down the neighborhood holding a large trump flag not going to get into politics this isn't what the story is about okay uh, one way or the other whichever way you are she was walking down holding a trump flag so i'm like okay you know there are some people who are a little more uh out, out there with their views and want to make a statement i'm not but uh, to each its own she's not hurting anybody i'm just gonna I've seen the same lady a couple of times. Because again, I drive this way daily. She's always going on a walk by herself. And there just there just seemed to be something maybe a little off about her. There just seemed to be something off. Um, and 
I just saw her, mind you, it is now, it's 46 degrees. I'm in a winter jacket. It's cold out this morning. And I just saw her walking on the side of the road in nothing but, no pants, but like a long button down, like men's shirt. Like almost what you would wear to bed, maybe. I don't know if it's a case of like dementia or something, but that's really sad. And now, like my con my biggest concern is that A, she's gonna like wander and get lost. I don't know if it's dementia, obviously, but like she she's walking all, she walks, she walks all the time. Like doesn't matter the weather, doesn't matter if it's raining, doesn't matter if it's 46 degrees out. That I didn't even check it to see if she has shoes. Cause that's not something I typically, typically look for. Uh, but now I'm curious the next time I see her just like make sure she's wearing shoes um, Very very <clears throat> very odd very sad, but yeah, uh, okay. We're almost at my first drop-off right, I'm about to come up on my first delivery. I like to just double check Oh, they have dogs. We're about to hear dogs barking a lot of dogs barking. They're freaking out. Um, Okay, the owner is coming out to silence the dogs, but she has my grocery order. off um i'm now texting my next delivery based on drop off time and location that i'm on my way putting in the address um dog owners by the way don't worry about your dogs like going off um i'm pretty sure most of us delivery drivers are pretty used to it as long as they're like locked up or like in a you know they're safe um I don't feel like putting my life at risk just to drop off your groceries, but I don't mind if your dog is barking at me. That's what they're supposed to do. And he's beautiful. He's a golden, uh, not a golden, hello, um, German Shepherd. 